Hey. Well, for those of you who are going to be in uh, the LA area over the coming months, especially uh, March 1st, we've got some guys here uh, involved in a project that's really interesting. I'll let you talk to them about it. And uh, we're going to introduce you to Curtis Webster and uh, let him take it from there. I'm the pastor at the First Presbyterian Church in Encino. Um, now, my blog is, is connected to the Trek family, so what in the world could this event that you're having at First Presby Encino have to do with Star Trek? Well, that's a very good question. I have long believed that popular culture can convey real spiritual truths. Um, I was 13 years old when the original series Star Trek premiered. I've been a Star Trek fan my entire life. Okay. And I've often wondered, what is it about Star Trek? You know, science fiction at its best shows us the human condition. It enables us to look at ourselves through eyes of alien culture, uh, enables us to have metaphors, right. and Star Trek is just amazing that way. Um, I had been doing a series at the church called The Gospel According to Serling, which was a Twilight Zone series. We would watch an episode and uh, talk about the spiritual implications of it. Right. Then, I knew I wanted to do Star Trek, but I wanted to do it kind of bigger than that. And through a fortuitous series of events, I made the acquaintance of Mike Westmore. The Mike Westmore. The, the Michael Westmore. <laughs> and um, Mike was very receptive to what I was saying. And he said, well, not only can I help you out uh, with um, some insider insights, I can get you some really cool guests to come to this. So, it took, it took several months. We had uh, many meetings around uh, uh, Mike's dining room table. Right. And uh, he said, uh, I, I can get you Armin Shimmerman. Armin who? Shimmerman. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yes, Quark. Quark. Um, and several other guests. The format of this is really pretty simple. Uh, we're going to watch an episode of Star Trek, mm -hmm. and this is in our sanctuary. We're projected up on a big screen. It'll be like being at the movies. And then we're going to bring out special guests to talk about the episode. Now, Mike and I will be co-hosting this, um, and our, our first guests, I'm really pleased to say, will be Armin Shimmerman and Max Grodenchik, otherwise known as Quark and Rom. Who just happened to be... Just happened to be... Oh, look, right here. here we are. Yeah, Hi, Bob. Hi, Armin. And you know what? I'm, since I'm gonzoing, uh, I may get you guys to squeeze in a little bit closer. Okay. There we go. Very good. Right. So, okay. Well, not quite the Three Stooges, but there we go. <laughs> now, this is the kickoff event, the kickoff session. March 1st. March 1st, 7 o'clock. Okay, for all the uh, LA locals or anyone in Southern California at the time, the address and all that, before we, we, get, be there. Before yeah, we forget it. Yeah. yeah. And the address is, what is it? 4963 Balboa in okay. Encino. We are about a block and a half of Ventura. Okay, well we'll super that on here too, but... So, the Ferengi in spirituality is not something, A, if people know the Ferengi, it's what you would leap to right out of the box, but as they evolved and went along, the shows did get into different textures and layers of spirituality and ethics and morals and some of the things you want to get into. I mean, right off the bat, a layperson may not think that's the biggest, even going to Star Trek, but the Ferengis are an interesting choice to start off with. Which makes it very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I always thought that the Ferengi was the most ethical, <laughs> most ethical of the culture of some of the space. And uh, Curtis is giving us the opportunity to explain why. Different cultures have different ethics, and even today at lunch, uh, Max and I, Curtis and Larry, uh, we're discussing about what are the various ethos of, of different cultures. Right. And, and as Curtis just said, uh, the cultures on Star Trek are great metaphors for human culture. Right. And uh, the best kind of art is one that makes you think, and I think Curtis, Curtis is giving not only us, the actors, but also the members who are attending an opportunity to, uh, to play around with some very universal ideas. Yeah, so, uh, Max, I understand you have many questions. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't know anything about ethics, and 
<laughs> I do have many questions about what is uh, what is ethics. Uh, for example, are ethics universal? Are, are, are some ethics universal in nature? Right. If it's Star Trek, they're not universal, they're paramount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, March 29th will be our second session. We're going to have Ethan Phillips, Voyager. Okay. A great episode called Mortal Coil that looks into questions of the afterlife. Um, shuffling off. Shuffling off. His, <laughs> and yes, as in shuffling off his mortal Said the coil. Shakespearean. Yeah. Said the Shakespearean. Um, hopefully May 3rd, and this isn't confirmed yet, we'll have Robert O'Reilly, who was Gowron, mm -hmm. and we're going to be looking at an episode called Rightful Air yeah. from uh, uh, TNG that is just a spectacular episode. <laughs> I may use it two or three times. Uh, down the road, we have verbal commitments from Bob Picardo. Uh, we're talking to Marina Sirtis, and um, these gentlemen are going to help put me in touch with some other folks. Well, how much are the tickets to this incredible event? Sorry. It is absolutely free. Free? free. <laughs> yes, it is free. How to make a Ferengi's head turn. It is That's absolutely the... free. Uh, we are a church. Uh, we will obviously accept any donations, but this is is free to the public. Uh, come on in. Uh, seating is somewhat limited. You might want to call 818-788-1147 okay. to reserve a seat for this. Uh, but no, you don't don't let your wallet impede your progress. The spirit, <laughs> spirit of Star Trek. Uh, I'd like to hear your opinions. Right, 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 right. We'll get some feedback going. And uh, you've got several, and this will be going like once a month, I think it was the frequency uh, The target you're is, is once, once a right, month. A lot right, of it right, is, right. is depending on availability of, of guests. Uh, the plan is, is, is kind of around the first of the month uh, we're going to do one of these. And then the magic words these days, you do have a, a website set up for this? We have a website set up for this, uh, www.spiritofstartrek.com. Very good. Okay. This is really... Uh, well, it's really going to be interesting, and not to be cagey about it. Yeah. We hope that it, you know it, uh, it engenders a great deal of conversation, and that uh, people can combine two loves. Mm -hmm. It is for me anyway: uh, Star Trek and philosophy. And uh, I'm, I'm interested. I'm sure a lot of people, I'm sure Curtis's and Max's, right. about hearing other people's opinions and uh, and how they and what ideas, creative ideas, are sparked by things that they've seen through the Star Trek franchise. Well, it's certainly on the more thoughtful end of, of all things Star Trek, and right. it'll be really but interesting to see some how some comedy goes. involved. Some comedy. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit? A little bit of comedy. <laughs> Very. Any, <laughs> any questions, uh, Max? Uh, I'm saving my questions for the event. Oh, okay.